We are back on file to number item number 99, AB 1921. The clerk will read. Assembly Bill 1921 by Assembly Member Pappin and Act relating to Energy. Assembly Member Pappin, you may open. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I rise to represent AB 1921, which updates and clarifies the definition of a renewable electrical generation facility to include linear generators using RPS eligible funds, fuels. Linear generators are cutting edge technology that offers a tremendous opportunity to have renewable power at the flip of a switch. They can run on a number of different fuels, including many that are eligible for RPS, not unlike fuel cells that are already included in the definition. If linear generators remain excluded from RPS, the state will have a sorely lacking portfolio of on-demand power as we approach our 2045 deadline. AB 1921 will establish technological parity and help meet the state's renewable energy goals. The amendments and approaches were clarifying in nature and the bill has enjoyed unanimous support. Seeing no others wishing to speak on this item, the clerk will open the roll. All those votes who desire to vote. All those votes who desire to vote. All those votes who desire to vote. The clerk will close the roll. Ayes 52, no zero. Measure passes. Moving on. Next up, Assembly Member Pappen, are you prepared? Are you prepared? Yes. When you're ready, you may present AB 1921. Good morning, Mr. Chair and members. <laughs> AB 1921 is a simple bill that will include linear generators in our specifications. Specifically, the bill updates and clarifies the definition of a renewable electrical generation facility to include linear gel generators using RPS eligible fuels. Linear generators are cutting edge technology that offers a tremendous opportunity to have renewable power at the flip of a switch. Um, they can run on any number of, the thing I love about them actually is they can run on any number of different fuels, not unlike fuel cells, which are already included in RPS. If linear generators remain excluded from RPS, the state will have a sorely lacking portfolio of on-demand power as we approach our 24, 2045 deadline. AB 1921 will establish technological parity and help meet the state's renewable energy goals. Here to testify with me today is Julia Levin and Kent Lee. Julia Levin is with the Bioenergy Association, and Kent Lee is with Mainspring. All right, your two primary witnesses will have two minutes apiece. Good morning, Mr. Chair, members of the committee. I'm here to speak on behalf of the linear generator. As the assemblywoman said, uh, it's a unique technology that can run on any of the RPS eligible fuels, and it's future proof so that it can run on hydrogen once there's an established standard for hydrogen as well and be zero emission and near zero emission with any biofuel and ultimately net negative and it can aid in reducing greenhouse gases and it's very a crucial role in speed to power in many technologies example data centers and uh, infrastructure charging infrastructure where they're being told that the utilities will take years to get them power. They can do, uh, we can do projects and get power um, in under a year. And there's a prime example right now charging 100 trucks a day at the port of LA um, when they had been told it would take four years to get power to be able to, tr to charge that many uh, trucks at one time, 100 trucks at one time, 300 a day. I stand corrected. So thank you for your time, sir. Thank you. Next witness. Good morning, Julia Levin on behalf of the Bioenergy Association of California. We have about 100 members in California, including local governments, tribal members, private companies, and others that are working to convert organic waste to energy to meet the state's short-lived climate pollutant reduction, wildfire reduction, and air quality laws. When you convert organic waste to biogas, biomethane, or hydrogen, by far the most beneficial thing you can do with those renewable gases is then convert it to energy without combustion. And that's what linear generators can do. It is a great opportunity to capture biomass, 
uh, and convert it to renewable gases or biogas from landfills, wastewater treatment facilities, et cetera, and convert it to the cleanest possible form of energy, which is non-combustion electricity. And that electricity can provide clean firm power, also increasing energy, uh, energy reliability. So for climate reasons, air quality reasons, and energy reliability reasons, we urge this committee to pass AB 1921. Thank you. Thank you. Any additional witnesses in support of this measure? You can come forward at this time. Seeing none, let's move to opposition. Are there witnesses in opposition of AB 1921? Seeing none, I'll bring it back to the committee. Any questions or concerns by committee members? Senator Caballero. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Um, I really like this bill, and I'd like to join you as a co-author. I've done that very rarely this year for obvious reasons, but I think this is really important. Um, I have a question in regards to um, the um, language of the bill and that it is limited to RPS-eligible hydrogen. Uh, excuse me, <coughs> RPS-eligible um, hydro. Um, I happen to have a number of larger hydro, um, uh, hydro facilities um, that have been deemed not green because they're too big. Um, it was a way the RPS system was set up a number of years ago, and I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm persistent, if <laughs> nothing else. Um, they were excluded because if they were included in the RPS system, we would have met, met our climate goals way early. Uh -huh. And it was a way to exclude PG&E from the calculation to force them to do other things like Done. wind and solar. Great, except for that San Francisco gets to count their hydro as part of the RPS system, while Modesto and Turlock that um, are located in much more conservative parts of the state have been excluded from, from utilizing their power as part of the RPS system. What that has resulted in is because they aren't green they have to build solar panels and produce energy that they don't need because their hydro produces energy. So as we start to build a new system of, of accountability, um, I'd like to, us to consider that hydropower is green power, no matter who produces it and when it's produced, and that that should also go into this system um, even if it's not part of the RPS, we ought to be counting it as part of the system and, um, and allow it to be utilized as the energy that gets the system started and going. It, it's green no matter what. So that's just my two cents worth. Um, do with it what you will. But I, I, uh, I think this is a really good bill, and I'm going to support it today. All right. Thank you. Can, uh, Secretary, can we uh, salvage the quorum? Bradford? Here. Bradford here. Daly? Here. Daly here. Ashby? Becker? Here. Becker here. Caballero? Caballero here, Dodd, Durazo, here. Durazo here, Eggman, here. Eggman here, Gonzalez, Grove, here. Grove here, Lamon, Min, Newman, uh, here. Newman here, Rubio, Ciarto, here. Ciarto here, Skinner, here. Skinner here, Stern, Wilk. A quorum is established. Okay, if you want to respond to that or have an answer, okay. Senator Becker. Just a quick uh, comment as well. Thank you. I've been talking to the industry on this and uh, this is an exciting technology and I think that this clarification is uh, worthy and important so thank you yeah. all right senator I mean assembly member would you like to close <laughs> I'll take any title. Um, uh, thank you, Senator Caballero. Happy to add you as a co-author. I respectfully request an I vote. This is amazing technology, and um, uh, linear genera generators, are, they can take any kind of fuel. They're definitely the way to go. Appreciate an I vote. We're seeking a motion for due pass the Senate Committee on Environmental Quality. It's been moved by Vice Chair Daly. Secretary, please call the roll on AB 1921. Do pass and re refer to the Committee on Environmental Quality. Bradford? Aye. Bradford, aye. Daly? Aye. Daly, aye. Ashby? Becker? Aye. Becker, aye. Caballero? Aye. Caballero, aye. Dodd? Durazo? <coughs> Durazo, aye. Eggman? Gonzalez? Grove? Grove, aye. Lamon? Min? Newman? Aye. Newman, aye. Rubio? Ciarto? Skinner? Skinner, aye. Stern? Wilk? Eight. That measure is on call. We'll allow absent members to add on it later on in the committee. Thank you for your presentation.
Let's move to your next bill, which is um, 1921. AB 1921. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, AB 1921 is a uh, simple bill that will include linear generators in RPS. Specifically, the bill updates and clarifies the definition of a renewable electrical generation facility to include linear generators using RPS eligible fuels. Linear generators are cutting edge technology that offers a tremendous opportunity to have renewable power at the flip of a switch. They can run on a number of different fuels, just like fuel cells, which are already included in RPS. If linear generators remain excluded from RPS, the state will have a sorely lacking portfolio of on-demand power as we approach our 2045 deadline. AB 1921 will establish technological parity and help meet the state's renewable energy goals. Here to testify with me today is Kent Leacock with Mainspring Energy. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Kent Leacock on behalf of Maine Spring, and I'd like to thank the staff for their comprehensive and thorough analysis. And I'm glad to be here to answer any technical questions you may have. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Folks who want to voice uh, support for the bill. Good morning, Matt Kloppenstein on behalf of the Bioenergy Association of California and support. Good morning, Megan Murray on behalf of Prologis in support. Thank you. Good morning, Alfredo Redondo on behalf of the Green Hydrogen Coalition in support. Great. Good, one more, sorry. Good morning, um, Allison Hilliard with the Microgrid Resources Coalition here in support. Thank you. Thank you. All right, uh, opposition, folks who want to raise concern about the bill. All right, seeing none, thank you. We'll um, once again, uh, you know, obviously, I'm going to support the bill. Uh, appreciate it. Thank you, Senator Allen. Thank you. All right.